Hi everybody, Toby is back and uh, based on the fact that I got two voluntary donations from Chris Harding and the other guy was Fa Jung Fan, I hope I pronounced you correct, I decided to make um, a short part view video for the community which uh, shows you how to create streamlines from the patches because probably most of you don't know how to do that and that's the reason why I'm making this um, training video now for post-processing. Um, as you can see I also have now some new features um, I will present here on the top um, like a picture about the topic and yeah I guess this is a bit uh, better for everybody rather than if I only always just have this uh, white uh, uh, greenish screen with the title doesn't matter so we just start and the funny thing is that this is so simple um, the, and I never found something on the web only in the Paraview forum um, but it was a bit hidden and therefore I am going to make this screen cast now for you. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are loading our open foam environment and we go to the tutorial stuff, incompressible, simple foam and we just go to the pits daily tutorial. I already run everything and what we are going to do is we um, open Paraview. Okay, so then we are loading our open foam case and this is what we, we get. So probably most of you know that we have here this stream tracer which is actually nothing more than putting a line here and using this line it is calculating the streamlines. So if I click apply it is doing something okay I could also uh, make the resolution a bit lower in order to see what's going on here. So this is generating our streamlines. However, the the seeding points are on that line. This is sometimes very helpful and very nice to have. Also, we can change the seed type where we can put like um, point with a defined radius and everything inside this radius is like getting a seating point for the streamline generating. Okay, however, so if you are going to just want to know what the heck is going on with this inlet patch. So I want to have the seating here on this inlet patch and then the streamlines are going from this inline patch into our domain. Um, here it's a bit, yeah, you can uh, think that this is not um, needed, but just imagine you have a big room or a very complex geometry where you have inlet ports and you are interested how is this flow going from this special inlet port into the domain. Therefore, you have to do the following. The first thing is you have to activate the patch you want to, to make the the seedings. So here we, we just choose the inlet and the next step is you have to extract, use the filter extract block and you say okay I want to have this inlet. So we just extract this patch as a single source here in our pipeline browser. So far so good. The next step and then it's done we just say okay we want to have the streamlines from the whole domain. So, in other words, I will just show you a more, a better case uh, where we understand what's going on here. So, we do the same. We click on this Paraview foam and we extract block again and we say internal mesh. So now we have like these two new objects 
The one is for the internal mesh, so all cells, and the other one is uh, just the patch. Okay, now we want to take all these cells and we want to have Within these cells we want to make the streamlines, but we want the seeding source to be the inlet patch. So then you go to filters, alphabetic, and then you go to stream tracer with custom source. And then you start, just say, okay, the seeding source is our inlet patch, which is here the extract block one. If you do though, so, you will just get and see that here something happened and you just click apply and that's it. So what you see is that the seeding points are now the inlet. So the seeding points coming from the inlet patch. And you see that the streamlines from these inlet patches are doing this way. So you can see that this recirculation is all, almost not uh, recognized by the flow which is coming from this inlet and that's what I wanted to show today. We are going a bit further. Um, you can see it's a 2D case now and we do have here several, so it's the, the, the points, the seeding points are coming from the from the, the patch, actually from the patch points here. Um, I just do it like this. So here we have these uh, vertices at the patch and probably these uh, seeding points are this one. So as you can see we have two which are each other or one is in the front, one is in the back. And if you don't want to have it like this, you just want to have one streamline, there is a simple trick you can do. You just say, okay, the seeding point or the seeding input for the streamlines is this patch. However, now we have, as if you just say the points, so um, let's make the background color black that you can see the points. So this is the seeding source, but we just want to have one line. So we have to remove one of these points. So there are several options. One option is that you, you grab, not these guys, you grab the points and you extract selection here and then you should it, I never checked it out but out of the box it should work you go to extract selection apply and then you have this nevertheless one more easier way is that you make a new slice and you cut it in this direction which is like the normal is the set and what you get out of here is you get just one line as you can see here. This line now, if you go to points, has just one point line. And if you do the same, you go to this block, which has all the volumes so the cells. You just say alpha, well, filters, alpha, alphabetic, what I'm talking here, and then you say um, stream tracer with sources, and then you take the seed source, the sliced one. If you do though, I will just check if this is working now. So now I made a mistake. I, I, I choose the slice as the filter input, which is wrong. So we have to go to this extract block and then we have to go to the custom source and say seeding source is slice one. If you do so, you see that we get like here from this slice one, where is the seeding source, we get like a, a new filter and then from the object actually, which takes all the volumes, um, you get also like this stream tracer custom source. Now if you click apply, you see we have streamlines just from these points. Not all, I'm not sure why this is not taken into account and this, but probably because it's the, the first vertices which has a, yeah, a velocity magnitude of zero. In order to make these streamlines a bit more fancy, you can go to alphabetic and go to tube. Um, sure, you have to select this one, so the filter is applied, you see, um, to the stream, 
stream tracer and now you can say okay I want to have a radius of a tube of just let's put it like this and then you get um, this nice tubes here okay last point which is very interesting is if you want to have like um, the seating points um, equally spaced and I just want to show you how you can do that actually it's more or less similar so you see we have now um, here while we are using so first we have our patch we sliced it we get this line and of course you can slice this again and now we do it in the y direction so doing so we will just get this small point here I hope you can see that and this slice operation has a very interesting um, slicing tool here you can slice several positions within one um, object so what I'm doing I'm just sliding this and I get like an equally spaced slicing and now the same we just say alphabetic so after just keep in mind extract blocks activated so the second one which has the internal mesh and then we go to stream tracer seeding source and then we say slice 2 and if we do so I hope um, I made things correct I don't make things correct because you see I just have like this stream tracing stuff again here so again extract blocks alphabetic stream tracer seeding source slice 2 apply we get like here this one two three stream tracer filter stuff and now we have like an uniform or equally spaced stream lice seeding input and this is how it works uh, for me it is uh, always a good thing to know things like this um, because it makes your visualization more reasonable um, as you could see it's a very easy to use tool and yeah there is nothing left to say I just wish you a very happy streaming tracing um, experience now I hope that you got things out of that maybe new things maybe you were not aware of that and yeah so if you are doing um, if you are supporting me I'm I'm really fell feeling that I have to give something back to the community so thanks um, Chris Harding and Fa Chang Fan, I hope I pronounced it correct, for your voluntary donation. Um, yeah, so it is 13 minutes. I, I think this is a perfect time for a very short introduction into streamline tracing uh, from patches. Um, of course, you can use uh, the streamline tracer as here with this uh, seed input type hybrid resolution line or the point source but if you are interested in yeah um, patch streamlines you should follow the way I presented now and of course you can also use whatever patch you want so just um, I was already uh, saying goodbye but um, if you are interested uh, we'll just show you so we have the stream tracing here from this patch you can go to paraview and say okay we just want to have the outlet too um, and then let me let's check it out we say from this extract block one we are taking the outlet one of course now these slicing parameters 
for the outlet might be not correct so we just get like these points and yeah so keep healthy guys and thanks for watching share it with the community and i hope you get something new out of that bye guys